Hey all, it's your girl Aaron, and today I'm going to be playing some more MTG Arena on my free to play account. So today what I'm going to be doing is trying to achieve these daily quests. We have cast 30 blue or black spells, cast 20 blue or black spells, and cast 30 red or green spells. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some games with a mono blue deck and hopefully cast up to 30 spells blue and then i'll switch to my green deck and try and cost uh, 30 spells of green and we'll be getting hopefully 2000 coins from all of that and go on to our 5750 we already have and uh yeah so let's get going with that um i can show you the mono blue deck uh so we start off with an opt and some spectral sailors which have flash and let you draw a card and summon to return a target creature to its hand. Roundborn Cutthroat gets a plus one counter when you cast a spell on your opponent's turn. Uh, Metamize Prophecy Cry 2, then you can choose a card and then when you cast the spell with a chosen name the first time you draw two cards uh, that turn and then look at the top card of each player's library. So of everything mission briefing surveil 2 then you can choose an instant or sorcery in the graveyard this has actually been quite a useful card in my experience omen of the sea also really useful let's you scry 2 and then draw and then you can also pay three mana sacrifice it and scry 2 again tails end very situational it doesn't come in handy that often but uh putting it in there just because Sometimes it might help. Card can skewer, let's just draw a card when it comes in. This counts as a creature or planeswalker spell and uh, exiles it if, if it's counted. Then you, you scry one, that's not too bad. Creatures and planeswalkers are, have a, like 50% of the cards you need to worry about. Um, Keeping Watson draws a card when it deals damage. Wing words lets you draw cards. Dungeon Geist taps opponent's uh, creatures, doesn't let them untap, Leyline of Anticipation lets you cast your spells with Flash. Mythos of Aluna um, can be a copy of a target permanent, this is also a really useful card. And we have Reconnaissance Mission which lets us uh, draw a card every time we deal damage to a player. And then we have uh, Precognit Native perception to draw three cards. This lets us draw four cards. This uh, returns a creature to its own hand. Counter spell or looking at the top of your deck, and then gain control of X target creatures and or planeswalkers for like a late game finish. So that's our mono blue deck. Hopefully we don't do too badly. Now I was thinking whether to play in the normal. Um, non-ranked or ranked uh but i think i'm just gonna go ahead and play ranked even if we do lose a bunch and don't really gain ranks um i think it's still worth the experience um see how good the deck is against ranked decks and uh maybe we can improve the deck as we go you know by looking at things that are or are not working for against the the current meta so opening hand three islands the brineborn cutthroats metamized prophecy and two cloud conceals so everything we have here we can play with the mana we have so that's cool because we're not going to be hoping for specific land or spells before we can actually do stuff we don't have a one drop but that's kind of okay we're not being aggro or anything this is Slightly more to the side of control, but not totally. Um, so I think I'll keep that. We are playing against Folded Reason. Play a Swamp and a Knight of Urban Legion. Usually that indicates that there's some kind of aggressive or mid-range deck they are playing. Because at 3 mana you can pump up your Knight of Urban Legion. You can actually start doing quite a bit of damage. So we'll need an answer for it. The coil bug 
in return from the graveyard for five mana. This might be indicating that they have some kind of sacrifice mechanic. Um, but I think for now, uh, next turn they will be able to come in for a bit of damage. So I'm thinking what we do is we could play this next turn with Flash to block one of their two creatures. And uh, yeah, so we don't want them to do, you know, they might, if they're keeping up all their mana to pump this dude. Uh, blocking him means our guy might not survive. But then they have to use all their mana for that, so they're not getting anything else down on board. So, even though we might just be chump blocking, you know. Okay, so they're using their mana that way instead, which means they won't be able to pump up anyone. If they attack with both, we flash in the bronze and the turret, and we block the knight of the other he is a little bit bigger of a threat. Now we have to answer the Bloodthirsty Aerialist. Piling on the threats, but seeing as we have three Cloudkins and it draws us hard and that, Also not going to survive an attack. Block with it. Might be able to block the Coil Bug. Raid. I have two cats in the room with me today. Vector and Piglet, so hopefully they don't interrupt. Thing, but they are only hitting us with the one bloodborne so i'm actually thinking if it's worth blocking i'm gonna not block because the cloudkin is also making the winged words cheaper so we could play the winged words or two which gives us a couple more options here so now we could like on their turn and summon one of the attacking creatures that kind of thing and we also have uh, opt to draw and scry. So yeah, the other option would be to play Medomai's Prophecy, but I think I'll leave that because they do have quite a bunch of attackers here. I don't want my life total to get low by odds that aren't as able to help out like the unsummoners. The folded reason. What is folded reason? Don't have counter spells, but they might think we do because Essence Capture counters a creature for two mana and Negate counters a non creature. So for two mana, there is always some kind of counter. But spells that counter like any card, any spell, only at least three mana. No, sorry. Now we have Spectre. Thanks to say true. Um, I let them in because if I don't, they sit at the door meowing and you know, that might interrupt the recording even more. Um, not she. Well, it comes concentrated and then you. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking what we do now is we block the coil bug. Saves us from two damage, and then we unsummon one of the aerialists, forcing them to recast it or not have as many creatures. Let's pass. Block the coil, but we got tons of cloud. Can we'll block that, and then we'll unsummon one of these guys. We're only taking two damage. We should. We are unfortunately. Our creatures aren't as big and dangerous as theirs, so we created a 3-drop for a 2-drop. 2-drop for a 1-drop. And they choose to cast the Aerialist again. Now let's play the Ox end of our turn. We get a activated ability, trained ability, or legendary spell. Um, I'm not actually... So worried about. Although that is a triggered ability, I think. Activated ability. So they spend five minutes to bring it back and we counter them. That could actually be quite a nice way of uh, sort of shutting down everything we are trying to do. I'm going to just take. 
Okay, cool. So we also get the uh, Mythos of Aluna, but I'm gonna wait for that to see if they cast something a little bit more intimidating. So let's go with the Midoma's Rock. I kinda wanna have a land come too. We have a land and a Spectral Sail. Spectral Sail is nice because we can start drawing some cards from that far around. So that's that. Uh, now. Let's play a Cloudkin. I'm not sure they're going to do the Coilbug strategy this time. Let's draw that land. Because we do actually know, right? We know that we have the Spectral Sail in there. We could... But we don't know what comes after that. Try right, again. <laughs> See, if you didn't draw a card, then you would know it's like enough ahead to... Because we drew... We're getting up to... Um, I think if camera's moving. Hmm. So there's a trick of ability on that. I think we should discard. See, this creature's scary now. Let's discard a. If they attack, I'm not blocking because. Uh... I need a way of killing that creature, you know, like, so I might have to, like, double block. Um, well, I have no idea what will be. Let's just use, like, Omen of the Four of those in the deck. Okay, so now I'm thinking... Hmm. Because I could play the Cloudkin. Then we can double block them. And we still have enough mana for those two. If they mutate again, that's gonna suck. Because we'll have to discard a card. But at least, hopefully, they are not gonna attack us, kill us right away with this creature. Uh, okay, a 5 5 death touch. Well, you go for that, buddy. Now we are going to try and double block the feed. That creature has mana, so you have to double. Can you not move the... Okay, so we can cast our... Hello? Now I'm thinking maybe what we do is do this, get their 5-5 five five to get tapped, on and tap. This should be able to block that, hopefully, if they do something to it then, sorry. Our life total is getting really low right now, so we kind of don't want to attack. Still trying to kind of stabilize it out of immediate pressure um when it dies it puts a plus one counter on it and this one is a flying death such a mana cards in your graveyard maybe we should copy that i don't know how many okay so we know what's coming up on there. Hmm. So yeah, let's do that. And then let's copy the... We only got three to... Uh, we could draw a card from the Sailor, but yeah, for now we're not attacking. If they attack with everyone, you know. Gonna have to pump dudes there. But you know, it's okay if we lose the game because at the moment we like trying to cast as many spells as we can. So staying alive helps us cast spells so we can get those daily quests done. Uh, but losing the game isn't. 
You may have to block with a Spectral Sailor and just like draw a card from it after blocking. Yeah, because I kind of do want... Uh, actually, this dude is death so He just... Death touch the death touch. Let the three damage go through. And hope for better days next. Pretty close to death right. Having lots of mana means I drop. Yeah, we are actually getting out of senses here. That isn't going to help us. Where are you going to... Hmm. This isn't going to help us either. <laughs> Thinking we cycle. I mean, it's... I think that counts as costing us. This stage... You know, we're going to kind of die. Okay, unsummon is... Unsummon can actually help us. Nice. Okay. Because they have three attackers and we only have two blockers. I didn't find anything that would be over next. So let's see what they do. They don't have like tons of good cards left. They put that back in their hand. Now, can't attack with that. Something that costs tons of mana, that's what we want to send up. Maybe the bloodthirsty airy list. So if they, yeah, if they attack with it, we can straight up kill it. <clears throat> so maybe we'll kill it and we'll unsummon the centipede because we don't want that giving anything. Unsummon that. Lock that. Okay, so this is good because now we can play it. <laughs> and what that'll help us do. Let's put the, uh, the lifelinker back up. Gotta choose one. Okay, and we have enough mana now to... Actually, we do have enough mana to attack. I think we attack because... I don't want to just sit with like... Two life and hope one day turn things around. Like, I've got to start getting there. Get the opportunities I get. So I have enough mana to Tails in. And uh, I can also use this to scry. Would be nice because if I draw a land, you know, kind of need at least a creature or zero to one. That. Okay, dungeon cast is really good. So is mission brief. So actually, cool with those. So, um, I think we'll put the dungeon cast top so that we can draw it. Tap the sense of you. That one is going to buff one of their creatures if it dies, so rather than trying to kill it, hopefully they don't have any way of uh, killing my dungeon guard. But it's on tap. Okay, so now in combat, I'm thinking we just attack with our 5 5 because we have two blockers. And uh, that can actually start to put a Block on the enemy. Again, if they cost a legendary, kind of safe. They couldn't attack. And then we can actually spry again. So this is like now, blue is actually like. Um, let's put the land down just because, you know, the more answers we ask, we... that's going to let us play a card. Instant or sorcery. But do we have any worth? 
winged words is actually probably a good one for two i think i'll do that surveil two we might actually get something off the top we can fail down uh i can cast it this turn right so let's so let's actually just leave the sailor on top they might actually be well and then i'm gonna cast the winged word this turn that's his intervention is cool because we can spells potentially that's got bash cool so now we can attack again for five uh yeah and oh, i really thought i was going to lose this game but at least they draw something star so this will only let us actually that's enough i think because it's 2x so then x they have to pay twice x actually no it won't work because x will be three and i'll have to pay six which they have so let's actually that's okay all right so let's cast our spectral sailor then and then we can actually draw a card from it. That's it. Yeah, because now we can draw three off. Because we're playing in our main phase, we can scry three. Um, scrying always good. Kind of have enough land. We might draw a land anyway, so put it down. I want to draw lots of land. But this is good because now we have two flash creatures we can play, and uh, some cards that we can play on the turn that'll buff up not too bad i'm thinking though yeah let's attack again you know what actually we can we can actually finish them they don't have anything with reach okay well i was like so worried about surviving the next turn i didn't realize that i missed it that's why attacking with that five five really came in handy you know Cool, so our um, mono blue deck isn't actually too bad. Uh, maybe I should have worked on a blue based deck as the competitive one to start instead of green, because that mono green aggro, which I'm going to play a bit later, I think. Okay, so we already got 20 blue spells in that one game. Nice. So yeah, that's cool. But we need another 10 for next thing. Could try the green blue but i think cost that, that was a long game games don't normally go that long so i think let's just go mono blue again have another look at how but yeah like the mo the mono green aggro deck that i was using like all the wild cards on you know it really wasn't performing that well I tried to play with it i've seen in the last video but i'm um, sticking to the plan of getting it and get it competitive because those cards are still good cards even if the meta right now doesn't favor them you might come across uh this hand is really bad actually it's not that bad relatively bad we don't know what our enemy has minimally four lands is okay that's a bit better but now, I think, I don't want to have too little there. Thinking we that, hopefully, get to the lake. If you say that, we can come, um, we just play that, and we can opt end of their turn. Same lands, and if they play. The negate it. it would be a waste of a negate in life. Maybe we have quite a one, but yeah, the like I was trying to say, the oh, it's right at the top, uh, yeah. 
Let's have it, let's have it. We might actually get there. Now we're gonna play the brown born at the inmate. Flash. The less time it's on board. Like now they have two mana, maybe they have an unsummon. Uh, if we don't play it in our turn, they have, their turn comes around. We play it in their turn, they can still unsummon, but the two mana now wouldn't have been able to be used for that because well, if they use it in my turn, in their turn, it untaps. But if they use it in their turn, then there's less of it end. That's why I'd rather play this in their turn. Obviously, if they play like a Teferi who doesn't let you play cards on your opponent's turn, then you can play it in response to that. Pretty safe right now. But yeah, I was saying the, the meta changes. So sometimes like you'll be playing ranked or whatever, and whatever deck you use in control or something is like you keep losing every single game just because everyone else is playing aggro, for example. And sometimes you just like, okay, you can't beat them, join them, and you got to play aggro too. So having a good aggro deck is going to be important. Getting wins in ranked and even like trying to get daily quests and stuff you don't want to lose games too quickly you know if you're trying to get green spell daily quest you don't want to lose your game so quick that you play tons of games to get the quest done so it's even if i felt like it wasn't performing as well as i wanted i'm still going to try and make the mono green deck good and a lot of the deck the cards plan for that including questing beast one we use, but a lot of them you can use in other decks. Like you can have fun decks like Mutate that uses Nissa, Resting Beast. You can also have decks like Dance Ramp, which you can use the the Planeswalkers like uh, and the Questing Beast as well. If you want. Um, there's a couple of cards I thought of though. Like there's the I think it's called the Night Pack Ambusher. Um, and that's used in some like control decks that we could go for, you know, that wasn't in our list, as well as the Arboreal Grazer. Is the game stuck? I don't know if the game is stuck. I'm going to restart it. Just like... No, it's just our opponent taking it. Because, like, they're attacking and all they have to do is hit resolve. You know what they're thinking. But yeah, I was thinking the Arboreal Grazer might be a good one because it lets you put another land in. And because that deck is like not as strong as we want it to be, one way to improve that is to actually get a bit ramp going. So then you can play your more expensive cards sooner and that actually can boost the powerfulness so you're sacrificing like your turn one plays to have stronger than two three four plays yeah i think for now so we could either play the otter so that we can try and draw cards from it or we can play the winged words to draw two or we could hold this up to counter as creature or planeswalkers. That actually might be a nice thing to do because then we can tokens on So thinking we try that. If they don't actually cast anything worth countering, it's might be a best choice, but they're only doing one attack a turn, so it's really not a lot of threat. Maybe they have a flasher that they want to flash. Really not sure what they're doing. Kind of open. Maybe they just have big cards that they couldn't cast. Well, they wanted a counter spell and I didn't cast them. But yeah, so this is a creature spell we can counter. Uh, I don't know if they can counter our counter. But either way, we get a plus one, plus one. That's right. Which means like... Okay, so they're trying to unsummon it and so it doesn't... I mean, we forced the... Yeah, and summon to be little sick. Yeah, going. Okay, so now I wanted to actually so I played the that 
because now we can put that on top of our library. Play it again, potentially. <laughs> then, in terms of do this turn, thinking. So this is any spell, right? So I could play this and then flash that in on their turn as well. Thinking that's probably... And then like... Kind of already give it a token, hopefully. Next turn. I haven't actually kept track of how many spells I've got. The game is going longer. They aren't playing so aggressively. May be able to do spell in this game alone if I don't play it. We can't counter that. That's unfortunate. It gives their flyers a. So. Now, if they attack, it might be worth flashing in the Sailor and blocking. They can't draw a card off their Sailor then. And uh, they are getting a bit more aggressive now. I don't want them to move well. Downside is that means we won't be able to play wing Winged Words for cheaper. So it might actually be worth not blocking this turn. But, uh, yeah, so I'm actually not gonna play because I wanna play winged words which Especially we didn't get a land. Now we have some options. So I could wait until their turn and hope they try to cast a creature spell. Or I could play the Cloud Consider now. Have something to block with here. They might not even attack knowing that one of their dudes die and then i will actually let me attack because they probably won't block this is buffing that creature so blocking letting it die they'll just be in bad shape turn into a one i'm thinking they won't block can't do anything so get some damage in equalize the life totals and make the game a little bit more even but yeah they seem to be Busy, maybe they're busy eating or something. I don't know. Well, they're just considering their options, but either way, seems to get around to acting. They might just be having bad internet connection. Now that is, uh, we could have countered that with our no escape. But yeah, it's fine. Um, because, okay, so I'm thinking, let's do the thing we do in their turn, so I'm not going to attack, I'm going to see if they attack. We can play the Brandborn and the Omen in their turn, or the Brandborn and the Nose. Miserable. Um, whilst turning to a mass, Wood Presence, so the thing is, if they, even if they attack, like, they won't attack with that, because... And double block and kill it. They won't attack with that. I can double. They attack with that. Single block and kill it. So they shouldn't attack. I don't think. But I mean, if we can. And then in our next turn. Okay, so. It's a creature. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let's play our other Brian Ball. Are they going to counter the brown one? Put in your hand. Because if they do, that's good, because then they can't counter our counter. <laughs> because the warden is going to, I think it... We actually... Yeah, you can't see the cards behind other cards. Like, I need to know, like... I don't have the best memory. Well, I forget what the card was. And they are trying to kill my sailor in response, actually. 
Wait, they're not. It doesn't kill it. So what? They just want to. I mean, I guess I can't jump block with it and kill the. And I can't double block. That might be. But have they considered? Okay, so it makes the creatures with flying cost. Ultimately, it's a fire. That pumps up both our brown. Get an unsummon, which is actually good. Just help him to not get through too much damage. So now they might actually attack. Knowing that I can't jump and block, but yeah, I can still like do that, right? So it's still gonna be. Okay, so now what do we do? Because this is a nice card, but we don't have enough mana. We could do that, and then on their turn we can unsummon we can unsummon the Drake. Because if we unsummon that they just cast it again and difficult for <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking we could buff up our Brianborn by and we can also draw a card. So I think we play the Otto. And then we can either unsummon or but go for that. Uh again it can't block them when they attack. If they do block now then it puts them in a way. Can try. Putting their life down. And so now we unsummon that when they attack and that'll go down to a 3 3. Good jump block if we want to do ourselves. It doesn't, it's blue, it doesn't really have spells that can do massive amount. Okay, so we're gonna unsummon the windstorm trick. Okay, bro. I mean, I wasn't gonna jump anyway. Is he thinking I'm gonna double block because I don't have any other flyers? <laughs> but yeah, let's do it back up. It's fine if you just play it again. <laughs> Which actually is good with the upside counter. But I'm not going to. Okay, we got our land. So now we can we play this. And then we just go in for the attack. They run over there. And they won't be able to attack. Go in with everyone. Now he's the one that's the one that's closer to death, so they can't attack with the dungeon guys so risk death and might have drawn some so okay. now I think we can we draw a card go in with everyone let's say we do go in with everyone they need to block the bigger ones Block those, probably that one and that. This one will actually kill one of them. But we kind of still doing much better. I think we just put the pressure on. What happens? We can always draw a card from that. And they might try to double block and kill the guy, but either way, you know. Now I'm making it that they have to keep blockers back instead of attacking me. Because like the more close they are to dead, the less able they are to uh, allow damage through, and so they do need to actually force themselves. And so yeah, it looks like they are only blocking the bigger ones, which is fine. We're gonna draw a card of the otter, so let's draw. Our own dungeon guy. Awesome. Literally nothing they can do to cards, whatever. 
And I mean, unless it's something that can handle all our creatures. There we go. Oh, that game wasn't too bad. Just one of blue decks actually. But yeah, we still have the one last. Uh, hopefully, we did cast ten spells. I feel like we did because the game was really playing against an aggro deck. Properly aggro. He did before it gets there. <laughs> and we have the Cult of Rakdos deck. So looks like we get a whole bunch of black and red. And it's one reason to actually play and get wins and XP. Because you know you, they do give you stuff. Right. And if we get enough gems later on, we can always get them all. And now I'm, you know, I'm not spending any money, and that's three thousand. But yeah, we actually did cost enough. So now we just need some red and green. And we will switch to our mono green. But let's have a look at it and see if we make it. Now, I was particularly unimpressed. That's not. Um, like, do we need three of these? Don't knock the mic, maybe. Oh gosh. Sorry, everyone. So. So some of the new cards we got. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I was thinking of adding the. I don't even know if I have it. I'm gonna try that. Uh, the other good thing about the arboreal graze is it's zero three with reach, so it can block. Decks that, so because we don't have like all the cards we need, our deck isn't as aggressive as with those cards. So very aggressive decks will actually be as quicker than them. And so, but what this arboreal grazer does is it helps us to bridge the gap where we can try and get some ramp going to get more. Powerful cards that are able to aggressive deck while having a blocker to prevent the damage that they would do in a couple of turns. Because, you know, I don't think you likely have a two drop that does three, does haste. Likely, you know, something that's a three power with haste is either gonna turn three or maybe some other card that's. So yeah, that was the one part that I thought. Uh, I think we just just go ahead with it. Um, uh, the other thing I'm not a hundred percent. Right, that's true. It does help us when the enemy has. Let's just try, we put those, uh, I'm going to take out, uh, take out some, I know, take out one rhino and one current speed. Dick is getting a bit, Need thirty green spells though, so that this. Got a one, a two, four drop. Anna, really, really hurt. 
Hopefully they don't just that and a top. So we get to play our rock hard soul. Pulse collector. Now our pulse collector back. We have a blocker, so this is the start, but now we're gonna actually use Anna. Use the I think they might have a shock though, because they damage to me. Shock only does. Oh, they're just killing it. But when he does, he gets a token. And now what we could do is we could actually botanic growth it. Eventually. Let's save the time. I'm not entirely sure. What do we need another mana? We want them to hit him. Actually, cancel non combat damage that we the creature. We just ran it through, but we get a much better. So we didn't. Okay, so we can stone coil for three and get a lamp. Already got them down. Giant growth, one of them. Seven damage. Don't kill them. Damage growth. That's haste, but they use on that. I think we just attack. They try to triple block. We can. Hopefully, they try and triple block. Maybe you do one on that dude, one on that dude, and dude, then go and touch and wait. And they don't have any mana ups. What they do, if I was them, I would probably block one each. Of them. Goes that to you. I can still buff it to protect it, I think. No, the temple. I think we need to. I agree. Oh, we ranked up. Raising our way. <laughs> no, if we'll. Up with me. Stop playing. Account for like the higher you get, obviously, the players get better, but so does the cards they use. So, it doesn't really matter how good we are <laughs> if we're playing against people with better cards than us. Although, ranking up is cool, you get rewards at the end of the season for ranks. To be sometimes yeah we actually were able to level up there back i'm gonna open it because maybe we get something cool <laughs> get in and this is green if the game plans in a life each that's not bad for I've seen it. 
not used, but it is. I get a Hikikata. Let's see what our friend land Elador. This is Vigilance, and just as you can call Vigilance. Pay one mana. Not bad if we did make a Vigilance for those cards. Then it's always worth looking at the store. Because sometimes they give you pay 50 gold. No, leave. Show you what the mastery. We have one, and we can choose basically one of these on the card. Winged Terran is a card I sometimes play, and I don't think I play any of the others. Okay, this artwork is like what did my parallax. Here's a nice board for playing. Very cheap. It only cost 4 green spells that hold. Even though we won, being aggro, it's going to take us more games to. This may be a long video. Okay, uh, I'm going to actually keep this. Uh, Got our arboreal grazer. Unfortunately, we only have two lands. So, don't draw lands. Everything else is low drop. I'm actually thinking, yeah, let's go. Get the forest in. Forest in. Hey, not to me. Black and white, they might be playing uh, uh, Darren's. Only played against like Mono Black. Yeah, Orc. Uh, uh, let's play the Druid so that we. Have. The abilities. Yeah, if they wanted to attack now, uh, zero. Okay, they probably won't attack. If we only had the Paradise Druid, they probably would. No, saves us that two life fake. Okay, definitely a life fake with the oven. Right? That's cat does gain there's some synergy there and again with the no land so i'm thinking we play our pelt clip then let's play our paradise Street. that'll come in with two power which will give us a top pelt clip No reason. And even if we lose this game, lost as many spells. Four cards. Here we finally need that gives
I don't think they'll block. They'll have to triple block to have to triple block. He's losing me. Oh, I can see my Get fresh way. Okay, got our ram through. We could play it on someone with trample, and then we'll deal, and then we ram through. The... And if we target this creature, we don't. And then the ram through. Will be This will be his trampoline because of the damage of the extra six. Will. Then we'll still have an attack rate. Also get all good. Sorry, life gain. Current <laughs> gain life. We'll be putting enough pressure on. How did they block this many? They have a board. Relying on the druids for that. Board wipe. But even if they do board wipe, they have a save. Okay, so our mono green deck actually performed a lot. To be fair, our opponent was going really. Uh, the way it's not. Yes, and we played. Got a win, we also got gold. So these two here, yeah, you get them when you can, and get some more wins, we get XP. The XP level up. Need eight. And then we can do that in one. Oh, what unfortunate demon. I don't know, is it better if the video is a long call? <laughs> already quite long. If you're looking for short content. Okay, there's no turn one play here, but we have three land. Oh, there's a turn one play. Turn one. We have a decent turn one, turn two. Versus uh, Mazinov. Playing a bit of a. Probably either like. Tons of flyers. That's actually like all the cool. Hopefully, a one troll will act on other trolls. Both of them will. On turn four, and this. Assuming our bro isn't there. Really? I'd actually like to. I'd like to draw a land, then we could play our other troll and the grazer and bring the land. If they try to. But hexproof. One, two. It's all. Oh, 
Now we can patrol. And so I'm gonna attack now. Talk to it. Excellent. Could get something like third star. Every turn at the beginning of combat, I get. And getting uh, X proof was good for him because now, uh, like, I. But he'll be forced to use it to block and let it die if it's good enough. To the world. Living hexproof and uh, close. Living hexproof, first strike, and death such is the end of the world. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My thing. Neat. I can play in stars. That'll put another token. End of that place. Oh crap. Man. Yeah, anyway, let's just go. Now my background is complete. I'm actually I'm gonna pause this. Yep. Are you gonna get at the beginning? Could ram through the dungeon guy. Simple way. I'm not actually gonna block because their life's on top. Okay, this uh, when it enters the battle trying don't reach cards in my kill the yeah, let's actually do that. That's it. Because it had that extra power, that now we could actually. I'm wondering though, let's let's ram through. No, let's ram through the. Damage. Have to... But enough damage to kill him if he doesn't do it. Like even if you can get rid of yo, know, even now, like double block. Kill himself. A death touch. Uh that's okay. Death Touch and First Strike is the one we don't want. Then they can kill our dudes and our dudes. The First Strike damage will happen first, and it will have Death Touch, so anything except something else like damage will put has a chance. Okay, we can actually kill the other flyer with this. That should actually do it. They do have two mana up though, I don't know. Nice dude. Guess we had another creature in our graveyard. So the, this deck's actually doing a lot better now, and that grazer is really helping out. Bad. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause it, put up the screen again, and then. Okay, I'm back. Screen up again. Hope it is up. I have a piglet on my lap. Like. And yeah, so we won that one. Yeah. But a fateful end is a reward. Yeah. 
And we need 10 more green spells now. Other daily. My uh, headphone cable is not its way. Like bright green. Love and headphone. Uh, okay, we have a lot of bigger drops here, but we do go first, so that helps. And we could do. Yeah, we could do a turn four. You take this onto the druid, so I think we keep, even though we don't have a turn. No fake load. That's weird. Okay, we got a one drop, but I think I'm still gonna play the trick. Okay. Giving it a token, interesting. I think we didn't draw a land, so I'm gonna go with the Great Horn. Although, I kinda like the Braska. It's because it makes them like disable to attack. Okay. Not playtime. Serious business time. Oh, and play. Oh no. Run into a death such a week now. Uh, because now... Yeah, so that was actually... Let's do this now. That lets us put another forest into play. And also then... Uh, back action. Let them block that one. Okay. Another one. They attack again. I'm just. Okay, Crimson. No regard for. Okay, now. Hmm. When can we go for Rhino? Ooh. Go for big bros. On it. Oh, okay. <laughs> we cost what, like four spells, four green spells, and we got up to bronze tier. Two. So, uh, that should mean we have about, what, spells left? Green spell. I'll be able to do it with one. XP is nice because it gets you closer to leveling up. Six more green spells. This game. Turquoise, 14. Gonna let us play six green spells. No one drops. That four drop. Three drop. Keep. We have three things we can play with the land we have. And if we don't draw any more land, at least. Six spells. Six spells. That was me, pretty. What are you gonna do? Overcoil my truck. Get a token. Token. Now, what we could do. Could. Yeah, I'm actually. It's not that nice that we can draw a land. So, I'm actually considering just ramming through. Those. We ran through that dude. Let's get bigger. 
And let's just attack. Fox? Fox. He doesn't block. I'm working on my pronoun game. When I'm busy recording, I can't just say whatever's just to not think about it first. Unfortunately. But yeah, this is another land with no another turn of no land. They don't have anything to threat. Wait, do, do decent stuff. Come away with us. Three green spells so far. Just need to cost three more. That isn't a green spell. Better to play the game for winning, but yeah, let's see. Let's attack. And let's kind of hope that they don't. They did we would attack? At least their life is lower than ours. Oh, hey, I'm gonna chump block this. Pump your dude up or something. Probably pump him up. Some adventure cards that give someone plus two attack. Draw land though. Alright, now what I'm thinking is let's mutate onto one of them. Or just attack Great Athens, my Titanic. Titanic Rose Fury. Feel a bit less. Courage to just go on. Could always just hold back and yeah. Uh... Okay, bros. See if you if you made the right. Maybe I play like the stone coil for one. I have a block. To maximize our mana usage there and just make sure we don't back. And we can always uh take spot. That token it has use. Oh get a bone coil. And what are they gonna do? Back to seven. Oh no, they attack. But yeah, uh, this gives one of our guys Trump. We could also whip out the questing these. Uh, vigilance is pretty good there. So back with it. He's putting pressure on. So stick around. Much dead. <laughs> now the question is, did we play six screen spell? It might have been five. Need to get the last one. And uh, I think I checked and it doesn't answer you. We may need to play another game. <laughs> Unless I'm sitting there. Oh, we actually got enough. And the Luminous Brood. Oh, that's an awesome card. The Brood Broodmoth is a card I wanted um put in the black white uh, deck.
having it now is, is really cool. Less wild card I need. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried to pause it and I clicked the wrong. I really don't want to edit, so I'm really sorry if that was. So we're right at the end of the video anyway. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. Uh, hopefully that wasn't too loud. I'm so sorry. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video, please feel free to drop a comment or a like. Um, you can also subscribe if you want to get a chance of being recommended my videos in the future. Obviously the bell if you want to get notified about all of them. But I can't imagine they're that interesting. <laughs> Unless you're really into MTG Arena, then I do want to hit the... But yeah, we're able to do our daily quests, and that was like three days worth of quests. In and half. So I'm not playing this every day right now. Videos are going up every day. But, what we're going to do next is utilize this gold we have. So let's see, we have some vents here. I did want to play a brawl game as well. We have, uh, for example, is the go into the premier draw. That is fifteen thousand gems. Ten thousand. We have eight thousand three hundred and fifty. Now, the other alternative is going to quick draw, and I'd probably actually recommend the quick draw. To you because quick draft lets you 25,000 coins you don't win as much prizes you can win some gems which um and some packs and it also uh you're playing against you're drafting against bots you play against real people but in the draft phase you're able to we're actually not going to do this one though because it's not legal in standard and the pack but quick draft lets you draft again you can take as long as you want there'll be an upcoming video so check out for that but today that's all there is thanks so much for watching uh, if you're playing into arena you're getting your daily quests done so you can earn those rewards start building up your collection quite grindy but to be honest less grindy than real life magics thanks so much for watching though you're around